off of that. Um, playoff expansion talk. Let's let's talk college football for a minute. College football playoff expansion was brought up through Stadium uh, or WatchStadium.com is the actual website. Brett McMurphy, obviously longtime college football reporter, he is as well tied in with uh, school administrators as anybody possibly could be. He polled every acting athletic director right now in Division One football and asked them, are they in favor of expanding the playoff from four teams to whatever? If they are in favor of expanding, do they want to go to 6, 8, 12, 16? You know, what, what is the right number here? The numbers were kind of surprising. Uh, 88% of ADs want an expanded playoff. Now, it is, you know, the, the way that that breaks down, uh, he's got it in the, in the thing. But it's, it's more non-group of five, or non, uh, non-power five, as opposed to power five ADs that prefer to have it expanded. There are more non-group power five schools. There's, there's more group of five schools than... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's more group of five schools. Right, but the, that, yeah, and the percentage, of course, obviously higher. I, I, I get what you're saying. But the fact that there's only 12% of all active ADs that want this to stay at four is a bit surprising. Uh, the numbers break down like this. 72% of those that are in favor of expanding won an 18 playoff. Uh, the next highest one is 11% want it to be 16 teams. And then 5% would prefer that it be six teams. Uh, now, the six-team one, obviously, you'd have to give somebody a buy. What is the purpose in that? There's no real purpose. Uh, you know, Matt jumps in on YouTube. He said, more exposure to increase application. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think if you look at the way that everybody is is having financial issues right now, if ESPN were to offer more money to expand the playoff coming up this season, Starting ESPN next season, would absolutely offer more. I money think they would because that. it's more inventory. It's more. It's higher they profile it. games. And, yeah, and Pete Thamel. Pete Thamel's been all over this thing, by the way, for Yahoo. Pete Thamel wrote about how um, ESPN wants this to happen badly because the Sugar Bowl or the Rose Bowl, when it's not tied to the playoff, when you get like Georgia in, but they're not in the playoffs, that. And, but they were almost in the playoff kind of thing. The ratings for that show are terrible. Oh, They're yeah. terrible. Yeah, I agree. ESPN would much rather have more playoff games than have more of these bowl games that aren't great. Well, that's that's what the ADs said. Um, they This would help out across the board. So right. the schools want it and the people putting it on wants it. So, so there's no reason we shouldn't have it. it. Really, the only league that doesn't want it to expand is the SEC. And, That's right. And their whole point behind it is, okay, if you let more of our teams in, we're going to win more national championships. And if this is what y'all really want, then okay. But in the meantime, we're good because we're the only conference that has gotten two teams in. So why do we need to expand if we already know that we're going to have a team in every year anyway? And I understand that, that I get that point of view no we still need to have it and their logic for it will probably put more sec teams almost yeah. every year we'll get virtually two in if you were to have done it every year we've had the real playoff we would have had at least two teams and sometimes three. Oh yes would Agreed. have gotten in yeah i, I if agree with that. if it goes to an 18 playoff which is probably how it's gonna go if it goes that way which basically make one more round now what the big one that everybody has been talking about is you know, the five Power Five conference champions yep. and one non-group of five automatic qualifier and then two wildcard teams, right? Two so at-large. Dan, Dan Wetzel has an opinion about this that makes all the sense in the world, which that non-Power Five team has to have a qualifier with it, mm -hmm. which means that team has to be ranked in like the top 25. Well, okay. I, I think probably got to be higher than that, right? But see, oh, so you say that, but see, then if you get to a point where they got to be ranked in the top 10, it'd be real easy to not rank them in the top 10. That's true. And just feed the big dogs. But there's no way you could leave out one out of the top 25. So you maybe just make it what it is right now where... You won't have a three-loss team get into the top 25 that's a non-Power 5 team. 
Yeah, like the highest ranked, like first has to be in the top 25 and then is the highest ranked uh, group of five champion. And we need to be real careful about the conference champion automatic bids. I I agree. We all just pencil in that we're okay with this. But, But that means a couple of years ago when our boys from Northwestern played Ohio State, and yes, they got housed, but if they win that game, Northwestern had four losses that year. Yeah, they're nine and four. They they were winless. We go winless them, in non conference. Yeah, we're gonna let them into the play. We're gonna give them a seed just because they they won that one game. Like I'm I'm more for I don't want a committee because I don't trust people to not be unbiased. Okay, yeah. and I don't want just computers, but I just get so afraid of saying let's let every conference champ in. Oh yeah, because it, it's I don't want to keep them out. I just don't want a four loss team in. I'm I'm okay with like it, at this point if if we're going to go this route, um, if you're moving to eight, uh, you know, an eight team playoff, make the schedule only eleven games. If you're moving to a sixteen team, make the schedule only ten regular season games. Yeah, I'm good with that. I, I would then, rather make it. I would rather lose one non excuse me one non conference game. It has to be one of those. Small the non-competitive game. games. Yes. We got to get rid of pay for play. If I could change pay for play in my life, it, that's what I would want. Um, pay for W's. But we cut one of those out and go to eight, I'd be happy. Now, the problem is, is eight teams all have an extra game. The other 122 teams that lost a game, they they just lose a game because these eight were worried about. And that's my only thing is, we don't have to lose a game. You don't have to cut the schedule back. One team is going to play one extra game, or two yeah. teams. Two teams are going to play out of the 130 teams in college football. Two are going to play more games than we have right now. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that's a big deal, and I wouldn't change everybody's schedule for it. Matt I said, would make I would make the first round the top-seeded team plays at a home stadium. You don't yeah. make anybody travel, and you sell tickets like you. You don't give 50-50 tickets away. It's just going to be a home crowd. I'm good That's with that. just part of it. Yeah, I'd, I'd love that, that. That would be the caveat that I would have for all of this, is that top seed gets home field advantage. We don't – the bowl committee don't want that. The bowl committee wants to sell another bowl game. Yeah. They want no, to they take one do. of these bullshit bowl games that don't make any money, and they want to say, oh, well, this is now the first round of the playoffs. Yeah. I'm not a fan we, of that. We, no, we don't want that. We want it to be on campus. We want it to have – there's a reason why, you know, playoff games in D2, D3, uh, NFL playoff games, et cetera, it is such a massive deal because it's at home. It's got that atmosphere. It's it's a big deal. Uh, and there's that home field advantage that you get. And it's the reason that you get it is because you did better in the regular season. Like, make the yeah. regular season mean something. Now, so, here's how we fix some of this. And, and, and then I want to make a point about the money factor on this on the other end after this. But – we just get rid of the conference championship games. Now you never have a chance for that four loss team to, to get it. You just name a conference champion and each conference has whatever their credentials are to name a champion. And if you have a Baylor TCU situation and they didn't want to name one and they named that, no, no, you name a conference champion. Well, I mean, and it, it, Baylor was the conference champion. Like they, I well, no, they that, were named a co-conference champion. I know so you go to the big 10, uh, Big Twelve record books. Yeah, no, I know, but they, if if you books. go by tiebreaker, like it, Baylor, it, I understand how they did it. I understand why they did it because they thought it was actually going to help them out. But if they have a tiebreaker, out. then they wouldn't have named two champions. They, okay, I'm just Baylor, telling you. I, I know, they, that's I, not what they did. I know where I know we what you're talking that about. Situation, by the way, anymore. Everybody plays everybody now. Yeah, and and, and we won't. We just won't have that problem. But but I'm just saying. If you got rid of that, now you don't have to cut a game from everybody. You're only cutting a game from championship conference stuff. Now, the SEC doesn't want that because our conference championship game is worth, like, an NFL playoff game legitimately. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I get that. But if we're one cog in this thing, then then we got to get out of the way. We just got to get out of the way. 
Uh, Matt and if said, we had a better deal with CBS, we wouldn't be in this problem to begin with. That's true. And we wouldn't need that conference championship game because the Alabama-Auburn game would make us more money. Georgia-Florida game would make us more money. Alabama-LSU would make us more money. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, you would you would inherently make more money throughout the rest of your season that would make up all the money of losing for that conference championship game. Yeah. it. We just have a bad deal right now. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's changing. Obviously, we've talked about that, that, you know, there's a new $300 million a year deal uh, that is, I mean, it's six times what, what CBS is, currently yeah. pays. It's just so, absurd. So, to stay on this, why did we have this conversation? Why did Brentman Murphy have this conversation? It's it's basically a stimulus package for the for the college football and college well, just athletics. colleges, yeah. They, they are now, look, all these athletic directors are all looking at their budget saying, what the hell are we going to do? How can we make more money next year? How can, if we get it, the next time we get a college football season, whenever that is, how can we make more money at it? Because that's what makes us money. And everybody agreed, except for 12%. Now, what does 12% out of 130 teams look like? And I don't know if we had 130. Well, 12, 12% is 16. Yeah, well, 16 it's 15. Teams. And that's if he got all of all of 130, he said active. Are there some athletic departments that don't have an athletic director? So now if you make that 130 smaller, I mean, this realistically could have been, you know, 12 to, to 15 people that just didn't want it out of 130. Yeah. yeah it's not I mean, a you're lot right. of people. No, no. The majority of the power five, there's what, 65 to 70 power five teams? Yep. So out of the 70, you only got 12. No, you just tell those 12, go kick rocks. You can go suck an egg, baby. We're going to do what we want. Yeah, we're doing what's better for the sport. I well, and it's it's just it's all about the money. College sports has always been that way. Football has always been the 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 you know the the Wells Fargo truck of just driving in money. That's oh yeah, all they've done. And and this is a that's that's what Pete Thamel equated it to was this is a stimulus package, baby. This is how college football sees their chance to make more money the next time they get to play. Hey, let's kick this thing to eight. Let's make it happen, and and let's print checks. Yeah, it's and it's the smart way to go about it. It is the I would, smart way. What, here's the thing. Me and you have had this conversation before. We know ESPN wants it because yeah. they need to sell more television. You and I, the fans want it. Any fan that says, I don't want more playoff is it, just lying. Their 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 heads buried into a sand. They they're a fan of a mega team that wants the easiest path to a championship. They think they can moonwalk to one every year. There's a couple of those schools out there. Those are the only places this is coming from. Yeah, and the eighty eight percent of the the athletic departments, the schools want it. Holy crap! This is a no brainer. There's no reason not to. There's no point. reason not to. Wetzel took it personal because. He talked to all these athletic directors years and years and years for the last couple of years and said, what about a bigger playoff? What about a bigger playoff? And he says everybody he talked to liked the idea, but when he shared it out, it seemed like just the five people he talked to liked it. And then just the seven other people he talked to liked it. And he was like, man, I guess I'm just happen to talk to the super minority that wants this thing. And Brett McMurphy was like, I'm asking everybody. Yeah. And when he gets everybody and we see, oh, no, you weren't talking to the minority. You were talking to the strong majority. There's no reason to not do this. Yeah. No, you're 100% right. Matt jumped in. He said, bring back the BCS system and then have the top eight teams play. Uh, eh, well, uh, I, I, there, there I don't are, think there's there something. Flaw. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah. By the way, I would be more for that than a committee making this decision and picking all eight. The only reason we would need a committee is for instances like when the BCS threw in Nebraska uh, after they got housed by Colorado years and years ago. You yeah, know, you stuff like that it. where Oklahoma got beat 35-7 to by Kansas State in a championship yep. game yep. and still got to play LSU for a national championship. That's right. Like that's right. And then they got to get beat by Kansas. Then they got to beat by us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, stuff like that. That's why you need a committee. You need somebody to be able to step in and go, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not we just need, banking this on problem. computers. We're using the word wrong. We don't need a committee. We need a czar that that isn't tied to anybody. Yeah. Or that that doesn't have his head up his ass and can give logical reasoning behind why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. 
I agree. When you take a room full of 20 something people, somebody's got influences that they don't need to have. Yeah, that's true. And I don't trust any of them. Joseph uh, jumped in on YouTube, said, force the schools to play a real schedule. No Sacred Heart or Kennesaw State. They all have to play each other. Uh, Get rid of the pay for wins. Yeah. It'd fix a lot. Yeah, it it sure would, would fix a lot. It would, uh, it would suck for the smaller athletic departments, but. Uh, See, we can. You know. This is a very socialized thing. I've talked about this, and everybody in our country is afraid of that. But I'm not, I'm not talking about your health care or your lifestyles. I'm talking about college sports. If these schools make billions of dollars and they pay millions of dollars to these smaller schools, every athletic department can just have like a $2 million slush fund that they pay into, that they send to, to one big house, and that gets populated against to all these little schools. That, yeah. It would just be that easy. You would, we're going to put a tax on all these big money-making schools, and y'all made $100 million last year. We're going to take two. Well, really, you would have made 106 because you paid $6 million to three of these dinky schools that nobody cares about. Now you're not paying that, but you are. You got to yeah. play real schools, but I'm going to take the $2 million bucks you were spending, and now I'm going to give it to these little guys. Now you That's fixed a good it. idea. Boom. It ain't that hard. You fix it, and that. they don't have to play there. Like, yeah, and, and those teams don't have to go get their ass whipped to make that money. They can play a real competitive team. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea. I just idea. don't understand why, why we pay for wins. But and I'll tell you why. The teams don't want it. The coaches don't want it. No, if, no, they don't want to play those games. If they can line that schedule with three easy Ws, boom, let's do it. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, there's something like Vanderbilt. Because going six you know, and six would be a hell of a lot harder. Oh, man, yeah. Man, yeah. Uh, Everybody be lining up for Rutgers. Where's UConn at? They still in one of these conferences? Yeah. there. I mean, Rutgers lined up. Yeah. Um Hold on, hold on. Hey, babe, can you call my mom? She has called me three times. All right. Uh, 